Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Campbell Company. Today I'm sharing with you another perfume making video. You guys seem to really like those videos and I was inspired to make another video based on a few fragrance oils I've been playing around with. So we're going to be making today a spring inspired perfume as well as a warm perfume with lots of warm kind of sweet gourmand notes. If you guys follow me, you know that I really like that type of fragrance. So I'm going to be sharing with you two different perfumes today. I'm also going to be sharing the recipes or the formulas to these two perfumes down in the description box below. So check that out. You can certainly recreate these on your own if you like. If you're interested in the full written recipe with amounts plus percentages so you can scale up or down as you like and a full written step-by-step -step detailed tutorial along with links to where I purchased everything, please head on over to my Patreon campaign. I'll be providing all of that over there at just the $5 level. If you haven't had a chance to check out my campaign yet, I really hope that you will. I'll go ahead and place the link to my campaign in the description box below for you. There are hundreds of recipes and tutorials just like this one for you to take advantage of, all in the skincare, hair care, candle making, and soap making areas. There are thousands of makers who have already checked it out, so I hope that you come over and join. I am a crowd-funded content creator, so your contribution really means a lot to me. And upon sign up, you get coupon codes to my favorite suppliers like makesy.com and onlinelabels.com, making your sign up really well worth it. There are several tiers over there, each with their own unique benefits. Anyway, the link is down below. I hope that you'll check it out. All right, let's get started. All right, so first things first, when it comes to perfume making, there's no real right or wrong way to do it. It really is just a matter of pairing fragrances together that you like. So in my other videos, I go into depth regarding each fragrance having their own top note, middle note, and bottom note. And while that's all true, and you need those to make a well-rounded perfume, sometimes it's just a matter of putting together fragrances that you like and experimenting with the ratios until you get something that you consider a good smelling perfume. So I'm gonna be sharing with you today how I came up with my first blend here. I don't know if I've ever shared this with you, but sometimes I just use cotton rounds and some pipettes. I'm gonna be sharing that with you in just a second. This is a really effective way to come up with different blends because you're working with drops. So you're not wasting a bunch of expensive fragrance oils, um, mixing higher percentages of them together. We're literally gonna be blending drops to see how we like them blended together first. So my first combination is Brazilian Crush Cheriosa 71 by Midwest Fragrance Company. This is a duplicate of the Sol de Janeiro, very popular Sol de Janeiro um, fragrance, Brazilian Crush. And I would say that this smells very close to that type of fragrance. Um, it's a little bit heavier out of the bottle. When diluted into a perfume, it does bloom a little bit, but it's not an exact duplicate. It smells very, very close. So I'm probably in the future going to be making some body spray with this too to see um, how this turns out in a body spray. It might, as it settles in a body spray base, smell more exactly like the Sol de Janeiro brand. I'm going to be blending this with some cashmere by Brambleberry. So the fragrance notes in the Brazilian Crush are top notes of caramelized vanilla, sea salt, middle notes of toasted macadamia nut and white chocolate, and base notes of tonka bean and coconut blossom. This is an awesome smell. I really, really like the warm kind of gourmand fragrances. And then the Cashmere by Brambleberry is a mix of blueberry, white freesia, wild grape, pomegranate, lily, magnolia, green vines, cashmere, and violet. So it's not a straight up cashmere fragrance. It's got a lot of top floral notes to it and it has a very clean smell to it so it kind of elevates this one which is a little uh, can be a little heavy on its own so the two together make a very nice sophisticated fragrance and I'm going to show you how I came up with this blend so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll literally just take a cotton round like this one and I'll start with a one-to-one -one ratio on my drops. So I need two pipettes here and I literally just start out with one drop, 
this way you can get a good idea of how they marry or how they blend and if one is overpowering the other one and if you need more of another one or if you want to in introduce a third one. So I just usually do one drop. This way we're not wasting a bunch of fragrance oil. And then I take the next fragrance and I place one drop right on top of that one. I allow that to kind of marry a little bit and then I give it a smell and this is when I determined I knew I wanted to put these two together. I kind of had an idea that I wanted to. Like I said, this is kind of a cleaner yet still warm fragrance and I wanted to kind of elevate these um, bottom notes of this one. So I, I put them together as a 50-50 blend first and I liked the initial fragrance but I thought that I could actually use less of the cashmere. I didn't want it to be a 50-50. So I played with the ratio until I came up with a five to one. So we're gonna be using a five part Cheriosa to one part cashmere. I felt like that was the perfect blend of the two. And so once I figured out what my ratio was, then I take that ratio and I scale up. All right, so here's where things can get a little bit confusing for people. I'll go ahead and place the ratios above as I talk and hopefully it will make more sense as we go along. So I want to make one ounce of perfume, which is roughly 30 grams, about 30 mLs of perfume. I'm just making one small bottle of perfume for myself. So I know my total batch weight is going to be 30 grams total. Now, for my perfume, I'm using a base. I'm using the Makesies Perfumers Alcohol Base. Uh, I am a Makesie affiliate, so if you decide to go and purchase this base, please use my affiliate link and also in the description box. And we're going to be using this base to mix with these fragrances to create our perfume. Now. I know that I want my perfume, since I've been experimenting around with this, I want my actual fragrance oil to be right around 30% of my actual perfume. So I want the oil part to be 30% of my 30 grams. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend my fragrance oils separately into this little beaker and when we do a five to one ratio, like I showed you with the drops, the way we scale up is if I use six drops total, that means that 17% of my fragrance is gonna be the cashmere and 83% of my fragrance is gonna be the Brazilian Crush. I'm only gonna be blending in here nine grams total because that is what's actually going into my perfume. I'm gonna be using nine grams of fragrance oil in my perfume, which makes 30% of the total formula and also 17% of the cashmere and 83% of the Brazilian Crush. All right, so that being said, we're gonna go ahead and mix this first. So, out of the nine grams I'm using, we're gonna be using 1.53 grams of cashmere. I'm using this tiny scale here. I wanna make sure I'm using the correct, oh, my pipettes are over here. I'm using this tiny scale here. You can find this over on my Amazon affiliate link. Most of the things here that I'm using you can find over on my affiliate link. So 1.53 grams of cashmere. You want to be as precise as possible because if you start to go up or down a little bit on your percentages, you can totally alter the way that your perfume smells. There we go, 1.53.
Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my Brazilian Crush. Now, something to note too, I go into a lot more detail in my other videos regarding usage rates. But when formulating this, I did check all the usage rates and make sure I wasn't going over any usage rates for perfume. Each fragrance oil comes with its own usage rate for each category. So you need to check your usage rates for perfumes. On the IFRA chart, that is category four. So we are squeezing in here 7.47 grams of Brazilian Crush. Okay. All right. Next, I'm gonna take a clean stirring rod. I'm just gonna give these a little bit of a mix. Now, something else you should know as well. This is gonna smell a certain way and it's gonna be diluted once you dilute it into your perfumer's alcohol base. It doesn't smell exactly the same as it does when you're formulating your fragrances. So as you're putting fragrances together, know that they are gonna take on a little bit different, not as strong of a smell once they're diluted in the base. Okay, perfect. So I have that blended the way that I want. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add in a fixative. Now, this is Aroma Fix. I got this from Lotion Crafter. A fixative is, you don't have to use it, it's totally optional. But what this is gonna do is help the perfume to last longer on your skin. And I notice when you add this in to your formulas, it does provide a little bit of a film so it sticks to your skin a little bit more. We're gonna be using the fixative at 5% today. You can go lower if you like, but you cannot go higher than 5% with this particular fixative. So we're gonna go ahead and add in a fixative. And again, I'm using this at 5% of our recipe, so the fixative is going to be 1.5 grams. Let's see how it's kind of got a, a little bit of a sticky viscosity to it, kind of like glycerin. Now, before we add in our perfumer's alcohol base, I like to take my fixative and my fragrance oil and give it a good blend. Just to make sure these two things are blended together before we add in the base. All right, and then all we have to do now is add in our perfumer's alcohol. Now, I like to use a base because this base and any perfumer's alcohol you're purchasing should solubilize your oils. So oils and waters don't combine. I, I've done a lot of other videos where I talk about my first perfume making video, how to make a perfume like a pro. I talk a lot about why using a base, in my opinion, is easier than making a perfume from scratch where you might add a little bit of water and some polysorbate 80. So please go check out that first perfume video, um, how to make perfume like a pro, because to me, this is the best way. You're not gonna get any separation with a good perfumer's alcohol. It's gonna come out just like a beautiful homogenous formula. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this in. This is gonna be poured in at 65% of our recipe, which is 19.5 grams of base. All right, and then the last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and stir this up. And as you can see, my perfumer's alcohol completely combines perfectly with the fragrance oils. We have no separation, just a beautiful homogenous formula. So after giving this a little bit of a mix, I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and 
show you the second perfume. The second perfume, this is just kind of like dump and go. You just have to decide on your ratios. Um, now, this smells absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. Wait till you guys see the little perfume containers I got to pour these two new perfumes in. I think you're really gonna like it. That smells so good. All right, the next perfume we're gonna be making, we're gonna be using this beautiful fragrance oil called Pink Camellia and Patchouli Flower. This one is by Makesy. This came in one of the spring discovery kits, either the 2023 or the 2024 discovery kits, although you can buy it independently of the kit. And you know, just another note here on fragrances, if you're unsure if you're gonna like one, buy the smallest sample size, because remember, we're working with drops. So you can decide, you can even make yourself a full perfume or two perfumes with something small like this. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the pink, Camellia and patchouli flower is really gorgeous. Beautiful for the springtime. So it has top notes of Italian bergamot, sweet orange, green apple, middle notes of pink camellia, pink berries, freesia, and jasmine, and base notes of amber, sandalwood, patchouli flower, and musk. This particular fragrance is blended with essential oils of bergamot, orange oil, and patchouli. So this does have some essential oils in it as well. I am not blending this one with any other fragrance because I just feel like this one is so well-rounded. It doesn't need anything else. It's perfect as it is. It smells really good in a perfume. I've been wearing it. It sticks to the skin for hours. It's really a gorgeous fragrance. So this fragrance oil has a 19% maximum usage rate in your perfumes. So I'm gonna be using it at the maximum percentage rate of 19% of my formula. So this is in a way easier than blending. Blending is a lot of fun. If you find fragrances that you like to put together, blending can be a ton of fun. However, sometimes it's just nice to make a perfume out of a fragrance oil that you just love the smell of and doesn't need any altering. So again, we're gonna be making 30 grams so this is going to be 19 percent of my formula so out of 30 grams i am going to need to go ahead and add in 5.7 grams of fragrance oil and i think i have probably exactly around that much left in here this is going to be 19 percent of my formula 5.7 grams yes i actually measured this out yesterday and poured it back in to make sure I had enough because I used the other part of it or some of it in another perfume that I was experimenting with. So there is my fragrance oil. Next I'm going to go ahead and add in my fixative again. And we're using the fixative again at 5% of the formula, so that's 1.5 grams of fixative for 30 grams of perfume. There we go. Then I'm gonna take a clean stirring rod. Again, give this a little bit of a mix. Just to make sure they get combined, I like to do that first. And then we're adding in my fragrance oil. So I'm going to be, again, adding this one in at 76% of my formula. So that's 22.8 grams of base. As I get closer, I like to use a pipette just to make sure I'm not going over. There we go. 
giving us a good mix. I've never really experienced any separation with the Makesy Perfumers alcohol base. I've also used the other one from, um, I think, Voyager Soap and Candle. I like both of these bases. They both work really well. However, you should do, always do your testing on a small batch like this because sometimes certain fragrance oils just don't mix well with your perfumer's alcohol. But I haven't really run into that problem with either of the bases that I share with you. It smells so, so good. When this one is mixed in and diluted in the perfumer space, it takes on a beautiful, the, the bergamot really pops in this one and the orange oil smells so good. So the next thing to do is go ahead and bottle these up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and package up these perfumes now. And I got these adorable little perfume atomizers on Amazon. My Amazon affiliate link is in the description box below. So you can pick these up over there if you like. And I just think they're so cute. They look vintage. They've got beautiful pink colored glass, super cute. Now my perfume probably will not fill these bottles all the way up just because I only made one ounce and these look a bit bigger than one ounce, but that's okay. So I just covered these with a bit of cling wrap because I had to go run a few errands, but now we're ready to go ahead and pour. And this is the, mm, this is the Cheriosa and Cashmere. We'll go ahead and pour that one first. It just smells so good. You should always let your perfume settle for a few hours before you judge the final fragrance because it does mature a little bit and marries with that perfumer's alcohol base and it does smell stronger and a bit better after a few hours have passed. So don't judge it right away after you make it, let it set, let it set for a little while, I would say up to an hour or so. So, so cute. So yeah, this probably will fill, this maybe will fill about four ounces of product. So cute. And then next we're gonna go ahead and fill the pink camellia and patchouli flower. Ugh, that one smells so good. Perfect springtime fragrance right here. And there you have it everyone. That's how you make your own perfume. One is a custom fragrance. The other is a fragrance that's already pre-blended. So fun to do. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please leave me some comments and questions below. That really means a lot to me. Share this video with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, everyone. All right, catch you on the next video. Bye, keep shining.